Welcome to Song Salad with Shannon and Scott. I'm Shannon. And I'm Scott. And I am a professional writer and your resident lyricist. And I'm a professional musician and your resident composer. And, and together, together we toss up a new song each episode. Using a random music genre. And a random topic. That's right. Using our proprietary patented positive industrial <laughs> strength salad spinner, we randomize over 500 music genres. And hit the random article button on Wikipedia to get our topics. Nice seeing your face, Shannon. Oh, my goodness. I mean, <laughs> surprise, everyone. We decided that for our last four episodes, we're going to be recording ourselves not just in audio, but also in visual in case you uh, want a little bit of extra, you know, stuff to look at while you listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously we'll still be in your ears, but now we're also yeah. in your eyes. Oh, gosh. So, all up in all of those sensory all, organs. Yeah. Uh, what do you, uh, you have a little song salad art behind you, I noticed, Scott. I do. You want to show that to everybody? Um, <laughs> that is <laughs> from loyal vegetarian Claire Dixon, a oh, little um, needlepoint that she made that says, eat your veggies. I love it. So cute. Yay. So cute. Amazing. She gave that to me in person in Scotland. So cool. I love when we get to meet people in person. And that will still be true. So if you are coming to either of our cities in the future, <laughs> even if we're not doing uh, the show, please uh, hit us up. Yeah, of course. So this is episode 277 yes. out of... 280. So yes. our fourth to last, our four, fourth to ultimate episode. I was going to say qu quad ultimate. <laughs> quad ultimate. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and what did we do last time, Shannon? I mean, well, the last time we had a real episode, it was called The Road Back to Hope by oh. The Doers. Uh, <laughs> the Doers. I yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> With the umlaut over the O. <laughs> yes. Um, and that was a psychedelic rock, or like an Anatolian rock, like it was like a Turkish right. rock song, but it was about, uh, I don't remember. I actually don't remember. <laughs> Wait, where, I have the lyrics up. Oh, it was something about Rhode Island, obviously. Right. Well, it was the the governor. Remember? Oh yeah, the like crazy gubernatorial election where they were like both sides claimed they won the election, and the guy had to go in exile and like all that stuff. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So that feels like forever ago. It was. It was it's a been full eighty four years. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been definitely eighty four days because it was yeah. th three months ago we put right. that out. Yeah, <laughs> we have had a we've been a lot of places since then it's true i've been in the philippines and japan mm -hmm. and is that it yeah i guess so but i was there for like a month yeah where were you oh i was just in the hamptons for two weeks well i mean that's great which yeah it's great i i was working <laughs> and i was inside <laughs> most of the time <laughs> but it was still good. great good <laughs> uh yeah so a lot has happened since then uh and we're actually we're not doing a traditional episode this this episode we have to but do we're something, doing something more special yes we're doing something fun uh but i did i did want to tell a story about what just happened to me like directly before this recording can Please. i tell a story <laughs> yes and I, I our uh viewers will see me sipping water throughout yes. this episode from my little uh, I mean, cup <laughs> Uh, so, well, okay. Uh, also just caveat, you can hear that my voice is kind of, um, raspy. I've, yes. I've, I've been ill, uh, but I'm, I'm okay, but my voice is still kind of down for the count. So excuse if you, if you're listening to this and you think I sound terrible, I'm sorry. Um, 
So anyway, no, no I filter ha- for that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, yeah, there's no Scott can't um Scott can't auto tune the hoarseness out of my voice. Uh, auto tone. Auto tone. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I had a physical therapy appointment before our uh, recording today. Mm-hmm. Oh, I and thought it was an appointment related to this illness that affected your voice. No. Okay. So okay. So as you know, Scott. Uh, I am I am a person who th- at certain periods of her life has gotten uh repeated urinary tract infections. Yes. That like it's some look no shame anybody it's something that happens to like a lot of women they get like trapped in this like cycle of like UTIs and shit and then uh and then it passes and then I like I'm fine again for like years and then I get trapped in a little cycle. Right. And, and we can say now that, you know, the reason we're ending Song Salad is to start our spin-off podcast that is a deep dive into UTIs. So go on, go on. <laughs> deep dive into UTIs. <laughs> Just sounding uh the UTIs. It's called um, me and UTI. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, UT, I love you. Yeah. Um, (laughs) yeah. So anyway, so I'm out of the woods with all that stuff, but one of the side effects of having repeated urinary tract infections for like a short amount of time is that it like disrupts your, uh, like nerve connection with your bladder and it can like actually, um, like make bad muscle habits like around your bladder. So you like end up like clenching your pelvic floor muscles a lot. And it leads to like feelings of like having to pee all the time. And so like I was having like issues with that and like not severe or anything, but I was just like, okay, some, I know something's not right with my like pelvic floor. So like got a prescription, went to this physical therapist and she was like, okay. So the prescription is literally for Pelvic floor re-education. 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 <laughs> so my pelvic floor needs to go to like a like government propaganda camp to I was be gonna like, say it's pelvic floor conversion therapy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Like you're you're not wrong. So I go to this uh last week I go to this like massage it's a physical therapist, massage therapist, and she's like, uh-huh. okay, she, she's like, okay, you need to come back next week with this device, and like we're gonna start uh next Monday. So cat the parade dev- behind you. Oh, okay. yeah. And Go you on, can cat. people can see my cats. <laughs> um, so I come back with this little thing called a perifit. And it's uh and it's this like little egg-shaped loop that has uh-huh. like two electric sensors on either side. And you insert it into your vagina, mm. and then it gets plugged into a computer, and then it measures your like contraction and release of your pelvic floor to like help identify and then train like if like what's going on. So apparently my pelvic floor is hypertonique, which means like it's too tense. It's too tense. It's like clenched up. Jeez. So (laughs) so I was like, okay, cool. Like I had read about this because I was like researching like what's wrong with me. And I was like, okay, this makes sense. So I'm like hooked up to this computer and (laughs) – I, what I thought was going to happen is that there was going to be like a little screen and it was going to be like, okay, like I'm going to tell you to like breathe and count and like clench this muscle. And then there's going to be like a little line that goes like up and down, sure, like show the muscle contractions, like a little like heart monitor or something, you know, an right. EKG or whatever. And that was true. But then the woman was like, okay, like it's time to play the game. And I was like, the game? <laughs> And, like, keep in mind, this is all happening in French. And so I'm like, do I just not understand what this uh-huh. woman said to me? She's like, no, no, no. Here's the game. And on the computer monitor that's facing me, she opens this little woodland scene. <laughs> and then there's a little rabbit. And I am the rabbit. Whoa. And then there's a path. And like a, like a sc- scroller, a side scroller video game, like yeah. Mario. And I have to control the little rabbit on the path to eat all the vegetables. <laughs> Using your pelvic muscles. <laughs> I lost it. I was laughing so hard, which of course made the rabbit go like this. Right. Like crazy. <laughs> 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 the 
The woman oh was God. like, the woman was like, this is a completely normal reaction. Everybody laughs the first time they see it. I was like, oh my God. So, <clears throat> so you have to like, you know, you have to like relax, like it makes you practice relaxing totally. So you get down to the bottom and then like yeah. shooting up and then down. And then like, apparently if your transverse abdominal muscles are weak, it puts a lot of pressure on your pelvic floor and it can cause all kinds of pelvic floor dysfunction. So she's like, your abs are fine, but your trans ab transverse abs are not. So like, then it was like practice holding your transverse abs and then doing the like ex the clenching Whoa. exercises and stuff. And so anyway, so I got like into it. Well, and, yeah, of course. Yeah. And like, I, and like, I was, there was one game in particular that I was really good at and she was like impressed <laughs> with me. And she kept, she kept saying like, oh, bien joué. Oh, c'est bien joué ça. Like, well played. Well, like, well played. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. And so I did that for like 20 minutes and then I go back on Wednesday and I do it again and we'll play more advanced games with my Whoa. vagina. Yeah. Is there a leaderboard? I don't know. I should ask. <laughs> I should be you like, should am ask. I like, where do I rank? Like in, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> this is fascinating. Amazing. The only like, time I've had a, a medical experience with a sort of game like that is, um, a hearing test mm, where, mm -hmm. you know, you have to sort of like respond to whether it's on like your right or left side and whether it's yeah. like faint or loud, you have to like sort of click. And, and, but that's not nearly as fun as the, oh. the rabbit running yeah. through the woods. <laughs> yeah. Like get, getting all the little vegetables and stuff. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 Wow. It was, it was incredible. It like top 10 medical experiences, like for sure. So how, <laughs> how would I do it? You, Without a well, vagina. You would probably have to put it in your butt. Hmm. Because, <laughs> like, it's the same. It's it sounds this, worth it. Yes. It sounds worth it. <laughs> it's game. the same. It's the same set of muscles. Like, right? It's like, it's, it, there's like a cradle of muscles that goes under all of our pelvises. And yeah. uh, there's like layers of muscles. And so... Yeah, like your your anal sphincter is like controlled by some of the same muscles. So she'd be like, okay, isolate that and be squeezing that to like train. Wow. Re I am I am re-educating my pelvic floor. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when the Xbox Connect came out? It was like the little like video and you could do the games where you could like jump and it would actually like make your yeah. character jump. This is like the next iteration of that. Yeah. yeah, I think the the at home like you know physical control game physical, <laughs> that we yeah. all need. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's called biofeedback, is what it's called. Wow. Like when you like see this stuff. Uh, but anyway, I just like I like I literally like walked home from that and then like sat down to record with you, and so I just had I had to tell you, and I'm thrilled, and okay. thousands of other people. <laughs> I was like, is this a good story for the podcast or not? Yes, of course okay. it is. Okay, great. I'm glad. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> I'm I'm glad it's not it's not too like oh yeah, maybe we should put a we should have put a disclaimer of like if you're like squicky about medical things, like skip ahead two minutes or whatever, but yeah. Anyway. Sure. But uh you mean more like uh ten minutes. <laughs> oh god, it's been ten minutes. Anyway. Well, this this is not the only thing we're doing on this episode. No. What, do you want to tell everybody what we're doing? Yes. So for our special 277th episode, we are going to do a creator's commentary, sort of like a director's commentary, uh, where we take our pilot episode, episode zero, and we listen to it and comment on it in real time because Shannon and I have not listened back to this pilot episode in years. Years. I honestly Years. don't know if after like the first 10 episodes, I ever went back and listened to it again. I, I don't think I don't think I did. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> let me tell you some facts about uh, this episode. Yeah. OK, great. So we're going to listen to episode zero, the pilot. It's titled Jerung the Mortabund. OK, hey. it was released on January 31st, 2016. Wow. Over seven years ago. 
According to SoundCloud, which is our only like analytics that we have on our episodes, it's been played 2,138 times. Okay. So it had its most plays in 2019, even though it was released in 2016. Oh, you know what? I think 2019. That was a big year for Song Salad. Yeah. It was. I think that was when we were like making a couple lists of like best road trip podcasts and like best hope punk podcasts and and stuff like that. Maybe. Uh, the top listener, according to SoundCloud, was Rachel Glogauer, Megan's sister, who listened to it 18 <laughs> times. Hey, Question Rachel. Mark. Are you okay, Rachel? Are you okay, Rachel? <laughs> uh, but also the most plays of it came out of San Francisco, according to the internet. 76 huh. plays out of the San Francisco Bay Area. Huh. So, if you're a listener in San Francisco, say what's Rachel up. Rachel is not. So. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, so that's really all I have to say about the episode other than we're going to listen to it, uh, and we'll shout out if we want to pause and talk about it. Um, I think it's boring to say pause. So I'm going to propose that if you want to comment on it, we'll go waiter. (laughs) How does that work? That's good. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Okay. Ready to start? Yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is gonna be boring. Hope not. Song salad with Shannon and Scott. Welcome to Song Salad. I'm Shannon and I'm Scott. And together we're, we're Shannon, Shannon and, and Scott. Scott. Waiter. All right, words. <laughs> Wow. Off to a good start. Yeah. We, uh, we were so concise back we then. Were, yeah. <laughs> we, um, we got to the point. We sh- Why didn't we like carry that through, that concision, that sense of urgency, you know? I know. Yeah. That's all you need to know. The, the mics are a little better than I thought they would be, actually. It's not that bad. Yeah. And by mics, you mean mic. single mic that we share. A- and mic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, speaking of mics, while we're stopped, has everyone who's watching noticed <laughs> Shannon's fourth cat in the video? <laughs> Not every week, every week Scott is like, "Your microphone is disgusting" <laughs> because he can see me. Oh but like, I don't know if you can see my like. I just have. Yeah, so we can much- see it. We can see it. All right. <laughs> so much. It's the hairiest hair. pop filter to ever exist. <laughs> I can't get it, but like if I try to pick them, it's like impossible because it's like it's like Velcro, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like look when I moved to Paris, I didn't take my my little boom arm thing that you've got. Like I used to have situation that I got. uh, Yeah, Yeah. everyone. I used to have this like sweet little setup the same way that Scott did, and then whenever I moved, uh, I like didn't pack it and take it with me, Uh, and so now I just have this sad little hairy (laughs) mic. All right, should we get back into it? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Good. We're, We're Shannon, Shannon and Scott. Scott. I write words. And I write music. And together, <laughs> we make magic. <laughs> and salads. And in order to write more songs. we had, I mean, I guess our goal with this is to write more songs, not to write better songs. No, just write. Just write songs. Qu- quantity over quality. For sure. Yes. 100%. Achieved. Because <laughs> the well has done run dry on our inspiration. And Waiter, sad. <laughs> how sad was I six years ago that like then I thought the well had done run dry, and then we did a hunt like two hundred and something episode. Like clearly, I didn't know what I was talking about because the well there was there was a bunch of mud in that well, and we got it all. We got it all. Yeah, the wa- <laughs> maybe the water was gone, but there was many hundreds of feet of mud in that wow. well. Wow. Yeah. I can't believe we started this podcast by saying like, hey, we write music, but we're pretty bad at it and don't have any ideas. Listen to us. <laughs> I mean, well, OK, let, I don't know how much we've like talked about this, but like we didn't like we have been writing partners on certain projects since we were in college, since freshman right. year of college. And we had just written or we were like, yeah, we had like we're in the process of or had just finished writing our like first full length musical together. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And it was like really hard to kind of get anybody interested or like get it going anywhere. And we were doing a couple like one-off like commissions of individual songs. And so we were doing that, but like 
otherwise we were kind of feeling like, uh, I don't know what comes next or like what's exciting. And, and we exactly. miss collaborating with each other. And so, I mean, I know we've said that that's been the uh, inspiration for the podcast, but. Uh, we had also realize- been rejected from the Swimmy Awards uh, competition <laughs> not too long before. <laughs> yeah, the Monterey Bay Aquarium had had crushed our last dream, I think. Right. Uh, is what happened. <laughs> um, no, I didn't realize we like started the podcast by being like, yeah, we're sad creatives. Neither like, did I. Listen what to were us. we thinking? I don't know. Dumb. We're All dumb. right. Well, let's keep going. Yeah. Asian. <laughs> Which is sad because we're in our <laughs> like mid to late 20s. Yeah. Late. And have late. had very little, actually no commercial success in None. our songwriting. None to speak of. Yeah. Uh, we're turning to the internet. To give us ideas. Yeah. So, namely, Wikipedia. But I don't think we're the first people to do that. I think that's a common thing. You know, people get inspiration from the internet all the time. So, yeah. why not us? Why, why not us? <laughs> Infinite ideas. So, why song salad? <laughs> not an actual salad. That's a good question, Scott. Can't eat a podcast. <laughs> hate myself. So what is a song salad? <laughs> a song salad is a random topic from the random article generator on Wikipedia. Plus a random genre of music from a random music genre generator that exists on the internet. Waiter. That's right. the rules. Do you remember the random music genre generator that we had? Yes, I do. What was it called? Mood Fuse. Mood Fuse. Oh, my Wasn't God. It? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Yeah. And, then it, it. and then it died. And it, then died. it died. So we had to make our own. So then we made the spreadsheet with yeah. the randomized range option, right? Yeah. And just copied into the cells of the spreadsheet from various websites, all these different genres. Yeah. And that became the new like, the salad, salad spinner. spinner. The actual wow. salad spinner. Yeah. Mood Fuse. Mood fuse, rest in peace. All right, let's resume. Yeah. It's not just the title of the article. No, no. We're actually going to figure out what the article is about. Yes. And hopefully educate through these songs. (laughs) But that's up to you because you're writing all the lyrics. I don't have to worry about the education. (laughs) My job. Yeah. (laughs) My job is to use a random genre generator or genre generator. I like genre generator. Um. And it'll give us a random style of music. And it has a lot of styles of music I've never heard of. Mm -hmm. So we'll learn a little bit about these random styles of music, too. Like, uh, I mean, I'm just scrolling down the list here. There's, like, glitch. There's lo-fi. There's uh, queer core. So we we have a lot of options. We'll we'll figure out. Happy Pride. we'll do one of those (laughs) fun-sounding ones soon. You know, the, uh, the the title of our podcast is Song, Song Salad. Salad with Shannon and Scott. So uh, we're going to use our salad spinner and spin the, oh the salad spinner. I'm regretting this Insert already. sound effect here. Beep, 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 beep. Our random beep. article is... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It is the Jerung language. And it's literally a or, one sentence. Or Jerung Jerung Waiter. we'll find out is a mo- yes uh i love i love that the from day zero yeah we had the we had the one sentence wikipedia article problem which plagued us throughout our entire i know been years we didn't know that it would become a problem so of course we just hit <laughs> randomize or uh, we hit random article and it was the first one and we went with it yeah, and we felt so unlucky, but little did we know, like, a lot of Wikipedia articles are just one sentence. <laughs> and, you know, I think we've talked about how later on in creating the show, we would often re-spin if we got a, an article that didn't have much information or yeah. was an inappropriate topic or something yeah. too dark or, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but back then, yeah, we we tried to just go with the first spin. yeah. I mean, honestly, like by the, by, you know, when we really found our feet, I feel like a one sentence article was not the like shackles it seemed like at first. <laughs> right. It's, it's like one sentence articles, at least like it gives you a lot of creative freedom because you can kind of take it in like a whole bunch of different directions. And also you can kind of digest everything you need to know really quickly yeah. and then just like move on and be inventive. Versus, right. like, sometimes we would get, like, huge articles that would take, like, you know, 
like we would be like, okay, you read this part, I read this part because we don't have exactly. time to like yeah. actually read the whole article. And it became a kind of like, um, you know, like death by over information, like, and <laughs> exactly. then you get like down and all of it. So yeah, I don't know. Because Bring we ultimately, that- yeah, we ultimately have to distill our lyrics to like a topic or two within yeah. the, you know, the, the subject. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also love that. I said, insert sound effect here and then didn't. And you just made something with your <laughs> mouth. So. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think we had any production value. So I was just going with it. I mean, I knew we've always been lazy, but. <laughs> well. <laughs> that that yeah. lazy? Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Mm. Or Jerung? Jerung. We'll find out. Is a mortabund Kiranti language spoken in Nepal. It is mutually intelligible with Wamblul. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole article. Oh my God. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. We've made a huge mistake. Um, <laughs> our first song is going to be called Jerung language. And let's see uh, what genre it's going to be. Random genre. We're going to spin the salad spinner. Do, 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 do. Electro is the genre. Electro. What's electro? Uh, let's find out. So Wikipedia tells us. <laughs> oh, look, a full article of yeah. something on Wikipedia. Electro, short for either electro funk or electro boogie, is a genre of electronic music and early hip hop directly influenced by the use of TR-808 drum machines and funk samplings. Records in the genre typically feature drum machines and heavy electronic sounds, usually without vocals. So maybe we don't need lyrics at all. Oh, good. (laughs) Although if vocals are present, they are delivered in a deadpan manner, often through electronic (laughs) distortions such as vocoding and talk boxing. Quater. I was about to wait her too. <laughs> so I love that we just like, like you were just like, no editing. We're just going to read the Wikipedia article. Yeah. We're not going to like digest it and then summarize. You're just like, nope. no, I'm going in. What the people really want is to hear <laughs> other people on a podcast read Wikipedia to them. For the first time. Like not pick cold out read. the most. Yeah, cold, cold read. Cold reading. <laughs> Sight reading Wikipedia is what we were doing. We were sight reading Wikipedia to people. Also, oh. I'm pretty sure when we read the end of the uh, topic article, I heard Megan's laugh. Did you notice that? Oh, yeah. Okay. I was wondering. I was wondering if that was, I was like, that didn't sound like me, but anyway, right. yeah. It was pretty, I'm pretty sure it was Megan in the background being like, you idiots. Yeah. <laughs> she was right. She's right. Let's get yeah. going. Yeah. Distinction between electro and previously prominent genres such as disco, in which the electronic sound was only part of the instrumentation. So, uh, yeah, it basically sounds like an offshoot of disco that focuses on electronic drums. And if there are any lyrics, it's just like someone saying words over these Great. electronic drums. So, like, oh, I'm trying to think of an example. Like, um, waiter. I just tried to think of an example. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> like, oh yeah, it'll come to me. Um, hmm, yeah, this the genre that I've never heard of before. Let me think of an yeah. example. Yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay, keep going. Oh, yeah, electro like- track example. <laughs> This went on for a long time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is just the podcast now. <laughs> Still going. Okay. So basically, it sounds okay. like robot sex music. Right. Like the, when robots well, both- want to make little robot it, it's both the sound of <laughs> the music that robots listen to during sex and also the sound of robot sex yeah all in one basically which maybe that's a that's a brilliant idea robot sex no <laughs> music for humans having sex that sounds like humans having sex that's just porn yeah i've in, i invented you porn. invented porn. waiter <laughs> we're gonna 
just I don't have anything to add. I just like need to confront you about <laughs> what you just said. I was such a different person back then. I don't know what I was talking about. Yeah, like you were just talking about like audio porn. I guess, it, well, music that sounds like people having sex. <laughs> so in, I guess in my mind, I was thinking not just the audio of porn, uh, but music created. Remixed. Like, you know how Enya sort of sounds like whale sounds being repurposed as music? <laughs> I guess this would be like the human sex version of Enya. <laughs> The human sex version of Enya. You heard me. Ooh, that's a genre. It is now. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Keep going. I got to hear up more dumb things you say. Oh, great. Did Just now. That's awesome. We're going to be rich. <laughs> um, so, okay. So we have our music style. We have yes. electro. Okay. It is electronic drums, robot voices, not much else to it. No. Uh. But we'll we'll all be as faithful to the genre as possible. That's what this is about. You know, we want to make it actually sound like electro. Yeah, and we we really clearly want to pay homage to Jerung. Jerung. Am I allowed to click on any of the other links in this literally two sentence Wikipedia article? You know, I think our goal is to educate. So yes, is that really our goal? It is the goal for today. <laughs> Wambule is the language of the Wambule Rai, one of the Kiranti tribes of eastern Nepal. Uh. Wambule is spoken by more than 5,000 people living around the confluence of the Sunkozi and the Dudkozi rivers near Kui Beer Hill. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Later. <laughs> oh, I'm glad some things never changed about this podcast. (laughs) Yeah, the the horrible pronunciation started early. Um, Yeah, no, it's it's good. It's good to be consistent. And you know what I was thinking is like, uh, I you know I know that human brains are just computer programs because I am having the same thoughts to what you say. That I had seven years ago. And you then want I to have the same reactions. And yeah. then I hear myself seven years ago say it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh wow. So it's disturbing and comforting that I am indeed my brain is indeed the same. I uh am mostly feeling that way, except for the part about the human sex music. I did not <laughs> have that same thought <laughs> today. <laughs> And I think that is really impressive, Scott. That shows a lot of growth. It shows growth. Yeah, Seven, shows years. growth. Seven years. Seven yeah. years. Okay. Moving <laughs> okay. on. Just like uh, <laughs> white people embarrassing themselves. The podcast. <laughs> the Wambule speaking area comprises the southernmost part. Oh, I'm not okay, saying that the, word. Yeah. You, it's, it's from Nepal. <laughs> yeah. So we discovered this language called Jerung. <laughs> We, we invented we're, we're the, a language. We're only like the third people to ever stumble upon it, it seems mm-hmm. like. Um, well, what is, moribund means dead. Def- defunct, right? Yes. Yeah. It's a dead, dead language. language. But it's mutually intelligible. Uh, so, so if you speak Wambuul and someone is talking to you in Jerung, you'll understand it, but it's not necessarily exactly the same. It's I, like a dead version. I guess. Like let's, a, let's look up the phrase mutually intelligible because I feel like that yeah, might actually yeah. be like a, let's try um, a linguistic term. In linguistics, mutual intelligibility is a relationship between languages or dialects in which speakers of different but related varieties can readily understand each other without intentional study or special effort. Okay. So, so it's like yeah. when we listen to Cockney people. <laughs> It's the same language, though. Yeah, but it's so... But, okay. I guess. So it's like it's like reading something in, like, pirate language. Yeah, exactly. We're technically a different language, but you can still understand it. Waiter, <laughs> pirate language. So you say, it's like reading something in pirate language, and I say, yeah, exactly. And we just move on. What's wrong with us? What's no, pirate are- language? 
<laughs> I was so ready to be like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Pirate language. Is it just like, say, like shiver me timbers and our matey and like that kind of thing? You know what this reminds me of, actually? Um, do you remember how when we used to actually use Facebook, there was a setting where you could change the language on your Facebook to pirate? Yeah, I do I wonder remember if that. that's what you were referring to. And I was like, oh, yeah, everyone knows. I don't know. I feel like that was like a thing when we were in college. So that would have been like pretty outdated even It would have been outdated. You're right. Yeah. No, I don't know. Like, I guess like you were, because you were right about like <laughs> Cockney as of course just like an accent in the same language. But like, Except but, for things like rhyming slang, you know? Yeah, yeah, sure. But that's just, but that's just vocabulary difference, not difference in language. And so, but then pirate isn't that different. Pirate is just like a dial, a dialect, like an, like a, you know, like it's, it's like a, if a profession had a dialect, (laughs) it's just (laughs) pirate, you know, I guess, I don't know. I just love that there was no further conversation about that well maybe there will be <laughs> maybe there was maybe, maybe, there, maybe will be. there will be yeah continuing on yes on you uh we're actually like almost halfway through the episode it was a very Amazing. short episode <laughs> i love it i love that we it was I, only 19 minutes long <laughs> beautiful we should have kept it <laughs> that's what it is it's the it's pirate language from nepal great that's probably like, offensive ahoy everest great <laughs> 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 Um, okay, so we should probably start writing. There's no way that we know how to pronounce it. Maybe that's what the song's about. It's how do we pronounce gerund? Well, I mean, in electro music, it's just kind of saying words, right? Yeah. So maybe it's just you saying trying it. to pronounce the word in different ways for the whole song. That is the podcast. That makes my job easy. <laughs> 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 Lyrics, a check. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. I got my work cut out for me. All right. Let's All try right. it. So, first step, the main component of electro music is waiter TR eight oh eight drum. Key. Yes. You're you're just comp- you are just like live composing this. Apparently, <laughs> you're just going right in and just like wow. That's step pretty- one. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, first I open my laptop, then I open Logic, then oh I type in, like... <laughs> what was I thinking? I don't know. Is the TR-808 drum kit, okay. which I do have experience with. Really? So, and they have it as a, a part of Logic, which is the program I'm using. So here we have Roland TR-808 kit. Oh, there's a symbol. So... <laughs> Basically, it's these electronic drum sounds of, like, kick drum, snare drum, you know, hi-hat, all different classic electronic sounds. (laughs) Fun stuff. (laughs) Wait. Just like you're kitty mashing. What the hell? Can you imagine if I kept doing that for every episode of the future and I was like, and this is what a flute sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> You're just, just like that's so great. You know, you got your sounds. <laughs> 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 that, uh, okay, oh, continuing. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like Jerome to me. <laughs> so <laughs> great. more racism. Yeah. Um so I'm going to use the 808 kit to come up with a electro, like, post-disco, but pre-80s kind of beat. So, like... Obviously. Yeah. So, you know in disco how there's always, like, that... <laughs> I, had, I had the same thought. Obviously. See, I guess, like, the... An, another option for us, uh, instead of this creator's commentary, we did think of briefly was like try to recreate our first episode and do it better. Yeah. And maybe we would have had the exact same conversations. I think we, like. I think apart from the robot sex, it would have been the same episode, basically. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you know in disco how there's always like that kind of thing, like no, like this. Does that sound familiar in disco to you? No. Okay. Well, it, it is. <laughs> okay. That, okay. That's gonna be our basis for our beat. Okay. So I noticed that the the beat in the the example song is really busy. Mm-hmm. So we gotta like add in a bunch of like uh, bass drum hits on a lot of sequential beats, like you know, kind of things. And then there's lots of these fun sounds in the Roland kit that they throw into. So we'll throw in some fun extra sounds. They give it that really robotic feel. So like over the beat of like, we'll get in these bleeps and bloops too. Love, love those bleeps and bloops. Waiter. Nothing. First appearance of bleeps and bloops. First bleeps and bloops. I didn't realize that's where it came from was this episode. Yeah. They're from the very beginning. That's great. I, wow. we, I, I'm, I'm honestly very, um, like delighted by the consistency. <laughs> I'm also delighted by the fact that I was sitting there next to you just being like, and I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this, and you're just like, okay, okay yeah. sure, I guess. And I'm like, doesn't that sound like disco? And you're like, I don't know. No, I don't know. It doesn't know. sound like anything, Scott. It yeah. sounds like weird Leaf computer split. sounds Yeah. in a random order. <laughs> I... I am very proud that I have learned not one little bit more about music than I knew seven years ago. (laughs) Like, truly, I know nothing more about, like, music theory and music. I don't know if that's true. You thought, I don't know, but, like, like, I mean, people, people, like, okay, I've met a lot of new people moving to France, right? And like one of the first things people are always talking about is like, what music do you like? Or like, do you like, do you like this music? Do you like that music? What genre? And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. I don't like music. Like, I don't like, I just, <laughs> like, I don't, I can't like have an intelligent conversation about it. You're like, I don't like music. And they're like, oh, well, what else do you do? And you're saying, well, I have a music podcast. I have a podcast. <laughs> There have been many people in my life, like, you know, people who have gotten to like at work or something, people have gotten to know me. They know I have a podcast. Maybe they've even listened. And then they'll be like, oh, yeah, like what music do you listen to? And I'm like, yeah, I don't really listen to music. And they're like, you do a pot, you do a show (laughs) that people pay money for. Yeah. That that is about music. And I'm like, yeah, but like, that's Scott's thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's so funny. I like I acknowledge it's weird, but like I just I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah, maybe you haven't learned anything about music. Uh but at least you can now name <laughs> hundreds of genres. I can name I can name hundreds of genres. That's true. And I know what a four on the floor is. That's kind of it. That's the one. That's the one improvement. Yeah. Oh, or the the eight the twelve bar blues, like because everything's go. based on the freaking twelve bar blues. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Continuing on. Yeah. It goes with Jerung, like bleeps and bloops. Jerung. Jerung. It's like a word picture you're painting. You know that's why they call me a. Uh... What, what Scott? <laughs> what do they call you? Word, word picture song painter. <laughs> now, we need to add, like, all those crazy synthesizers. So we need something that's kind of, like, epic and echoey. Not like that, because you can't even fucking hear it. <laughs> Are we going to have a clean podcast? No. There's no way I'm not swearing on this podcast. Great. All right, so I found a good synthesizer sound for the background. So in the demo track, you know, there's a lot of, like, kind of synthesizer chords coming in. So we have these, like, chords. It makes it sound kind of, like, moonscapey, you know? It's very otherworldly and robotic. You're like... So that's going to be our basis for our harmony in there. Space these, music. These fifths. It's called power fifths. <laughs> Is this a happy song or is it a sad song? Well, that's up to you, ain't it? Well, not entirely. <laughs> what do you have for lyrics so far? My, my, okay, so here are my lyrics about Jerung, which I'm wait, saying Jerung. 
Okay, so I love that I've just been ignoring you talking to yourself, writing you're like, something. Yeah, you do your thing, and I'll write my lyrics over here. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> Which sort of became what we did. Yeah, but, but it was, it was much a more little intentional. bit more prescribed. Yeah, yes, more it was like, okay, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in 10 minutes and like check in with each other or whatever. Oh, my God. Oh, so funny. Okay, I was, I'm going to pause because I think I remember the lyrics. Do you really? I think so. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to recite them as near as I can re- recall. We'll okay. see if I'm right. Okay. It's like Jerung Jerung the Mortabund. I remember that too. Jerung Jerung you died so young. Jerung. Whoa. I think that's it. I think you're right. Let's find out. <laughs> I love Is this a happy song or a sad song? Well, that's up to you, ain't it? <laughs> ain't it. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Because it rhymes with the thing that I wrote. That's really your power as a lyricist, isn't it? Changing word pronunciation to fit your own rhymes. It's godlike. <laughs> Show us what you got. Jerung. <laughs> <laughs> Jerung, the Morty Bund. Jerung. Jerung, you died so young. <laughs> Jerung. <laughs> It's not a spelling bee. <laughs> you don't need Where? to say. Hundred percent, ten out of ten. You nailed it. Damn, the I exact number of jerungs. Yes. Yeah. I. 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 I have. There are certain songs that we have written that, like, I can absolutely recite word for word, and I do not know why. And I mean, that was a very short. You know, that's like probably yeah. shorter than a haiku or whatever. But like. I don't know. I I remember that absolutely word for word. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. It stuck with you. It did. Some way, somehow. Yeah. All right, let's continue. Yeah. B. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to say. But it's very repetitive. Like, the song that we heard was, like, the That's same, true. like, four. I couldn't. It was completely unintelligible. Right. But, like. And it so was, was this. Yes. <laughs> so, yes exactly. so you're right on track. <laughs> yes. Um, but, yeah, it's, like, the same thing repeated which emphasizes the robotic kind of mechanical feeling yeah that's it that's all you need and bund and young i know it's like slant rhyme but i'm all about that all about that slant life so (laughs) (laughs) i think it works and also when my voice is processed through a vocoder it's not gonna sound oh i can't wait for that it's just gonna sound like nonsense so love it cool let's find more synthesizer spacey sounds cool all right so we got our synthesizer for our harmonies for our fifths over that we have to have like a melodic synthesizer line because the melody in this song is not going to be created with the vocals the vocals are just texture so with our melody we're going to use this analog lead from the 70s has very kind of like a sweeping feel that matches the the fifth so we'll put some of this over the over the fifths. Ooh. All right, we need bass. Waiter, I was so brave. I I would never do it this way now. Like, oh yeah, and then I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add this because like, I'm not confident enough to do that anymore. What happened? Yeah, I know. I actually, I really love that you were just like, here's what's happening, and then you just like did it. I I understood electro. I was like ready <laughs> somehow. Yeah, you had like internalized it, like just from the one paragraph of the Wikipedia article that you actually read, bothered Jeez. to read, and what then went thought. in for it. No, I love. I kind of love it that you were just like, and that you thought anybody would care. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that the point of the podcast, right? Why well, Why did anybody care? At yeah. All? <laughs> But that you were like, that you're like, I am going to walk you through the minutia of my decisions here. I yeah. Go, yeah, it's great. While Shannon <laughs> sits and <laughs> is forced to listen <laughs> while I play with bleeps and bloops and writes a sentence. <laughs> yeah, basically. I mean, that kind of describes our whole friendship, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So it's got this kind of like, electronic like pulsy kind of funky bass so we're gonna do something like (laughs) 
Something like that. What was that? All right. So Bad. <laughs> we need to robotize your voice. Yeah. Yeah. So we have recorded you saying the lyrics. It's 50% the word Jerung. Yes. So here's what it would sound like if we take your voice, recorded over your voice in another layer of pitch, basically. So it sounds like more than one person speaking the lyrics at once. Jerung. Jerung, the so that's, mortabun. <laughs> that's you. Jerung. Uh, Jerung, like you basically a young. fifth over yourself. Jerung. With munchkins is what it right. sounds Jerung, like. the mortabun. Jerung. Jerung, you died so young. We need a little bit of that element of making it sound like more than one person, so we're going to keep... Uh, that layer of the other person on top. Then we're going to like make all of that sound more robotic. Cool. So the next element to making you sound robotic is going to be to like monotonize. Monotonize? Monotone eyes? Monotone. Make your voice monotone. Good job. <laughs> Good. So Good basically making it so that you're, you're speaking on one pitch and like only one pitch. So... I'm going to make you speaking in the same pitch as, or same key as the song, basically, and you'll all of your words will be on this one pitch, and we'll still have those like two layers of two different people, so it'll sound like this. Isn't that cool? Yes. <laughs> so you got both the low and the high layers there. Cool. Waiter. Yeah. It wasn't cool. <laughs> it, it was not cool. And the technology has also come a long way. And also me being able to afford non-free plugins for these types of purposes uh, to actually make it sound good. So yeah, everything I, we were doing back then was the free version. Yeah, so. it was just like <laughs> Scott Googling free sound clips of stuff and then like just swatting like a swarm of flies all of the like pop-up anime porn ads that were like coming at it just to like try to get like whatever the little like corner of the internet he could pull a sound effect from yeah we should find out how many viruses i got from song salad research over the year <laughs> yeah seriously so the next step would be to add echo and reverb to your voice so it sounds like a you know, you're a robot that's a little far away. I don't know why, <laughs> but it feels right. Uh, great. So here's what, here's what you sound like far away. <laughs> Just adds a little depth to it. Yeah, it makes it sound more mechanical. Doesn't really sound like you at all anymore. Thank God. Which I think is the goal. Yeah. I don't sing. I mean, you didn't sing this. No. And you shouldn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put that with the song. Okay. Let's hear, uh, what are we calling it? Oh. Jerome, Drung the Mortabund? The Mortabund. Sounds like a children's book. A horrible children's book? The Mortabund? <laughs> Drung the Mortabund. The Mortabund Bunny. The Mortabunny. Oh. Oh. A.K.A. the Velveteen Rabbit. Womp, womp, womp. Okay. <laughs> let's hear it. So I don't know if this was intentional at the time, but what I did like about it was those little beep, beep, sort of made it sound like Jerung was on life support in the hospital, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. As a dead language. I don't think I attended that at the time, but <laughs> I'm going to say now that, oh, yes, the composer's intent was definitely to bring in the imagery of hospitals and death. <laughs> yeah, you can retcon that for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like... The song was, do you know the scene in Parks and Rec whenever Ben Wyatt is like, <laughs> you know where I'm going, whenever Ben Wyatt is like super depressed, but he takes up claymation as a hobby and he spends like a whole week 
on like the first scene of his claymation mm-hmm. and he shows it to Leslie and it's literally after a whole week and he's so proud of it. And it's just the, like the little claymation character, like putting his feet out of bed and standing up and that's it. That's it. And then it ends and he was like, that took me a week. So and- coincidentally, we watched that episode of Parks and Rec last night. because Oh, are you re- kidding? We've been rewatching the series and we got to that episode last night. It's so funny. It's the greatest episode of Parks and Rec because it's that scene. Uh, he says it took three weeks. <laughs> oh, three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the claymation guy standing out of bed and turning, and then it yeah. ends, and it's called Requiem for a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the same episode as Leslie's campaign launch rally in the ice rink. Oh my! Where God. they all keep slipping, and then on your feet plays. Yes. That's the same episode. It's so wow. good. What a banger of an episode! <laughs> I know. I love that show. Go watch Parks and Rec if you haven't watched Parks and Rec. It's such a good Season comfort show. Season four, episode 11. Oh, my God. Amazing. <laughs> so good. Um, but, yes, you think this song is the equivalent of the Ben Wyatt <laughs> play? <Clay Mitch? laughs> well, you're just, like, you were just like, oh, I'm going to do this, and then I do this, and then there's this thing and this thing, and then it starts, and it's like, meep, flurp, doop 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 Shittiest thing in America. <laughs> talk about it at length so confidently and then it starts and it's like you're playing it on like a joke keyboard (laughs) i love it so much Uh, it's so good wow yeah i set the expectations way higher than you did (laughs) and i think you were right (laughs) oh god Oh man, <sighs> that's incredible! Wow, what a song! Incredible, yeah, I love it. And to think, <laughs> over two thousand people listened to that. And thought, <laughs> I might keep going. Yeah, at least at least several, at least like a thousand of them kept going. That's crazy. Hey, just like Parks and Rec, which had a pretty terrible first season. It's true. It was worth continuing with Song Salad. Ah, oh, let's sure. Um, there is one minute. And like 15 seconds left. Are we ready? <laughs> yes, let's do it. There we go. Well, there you have it. The uh, first and only time I'm going to venture to say that anyone has ever written an electro song about drunk. So uh, we end every episode with what we've learned from writing this song in this style and topic. So, uh, do me. You know, we'll start Who's with uh, what, what have I learned from writing an electro song about Durung? Um, you don't really need much lyrically in a song, you know, Vo- vocals can just be a texture thing. They can be part of the instrumental group of the song. It doesn't need to be the lead element. So that's what I'm going to say. I learned from the electro song about Durung. Shannon, what did you learn from this song? Uh... Quantity over quality. (laughs) Until next time, this has been Song Salad with Shannon and Scott. I'm Shannon. I'm Scott. We're Shannon and Scott. In a salad. One, two, three, (laughs) four. Wow. Can I say it was better than I thought? Really? (laughs) I thought it was going to be horrible. So the audio quality was better than I expected. Yes. The song was fun. The song was fun. It was shitty. Yeah, (laughs) Um, the song was fun. What I was shocked by was how over it we (laughs) sound in the first episode. We're just like, well, I guess that happened. I guess we're going to do this. Whatever. We'll see. <laughs> like, episode one. What was wrong with us? Why weren't we more, like, excited about it? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. We we really, um, we, like, acted like we'd been doing it for, like, a year or something right like and just like yeah the energy was like not really there it was bad yeah i don't know i mean like 
<laughs> Look, we went through like ebbs and flows of like being able to like dedicate time and energy to the show in the last seven years. But like, yeah, you would expect for the you pilot episode. The first but we're just one. trying to we're just trying to have fun too. Like that was the whole point. Like the whole point was like, let's do something fun and kind of funny and yeah. like see if it goes anywhere. And also I talked way more than you. Yeah. <laughs> way more. <laughs> You had a lot of information to share. Apparently. I guess that's for this episode in particular. It, yeah, it was in my favor <laughs> balance wise for me to talk more. But yeah, yeah, I think over the years we've <laughs> equalized a little bit. We've definitely evened out. And like, yeah, no, I think I think I I think I can be a little uh, more loquacious than you on the show. Usually, I think. I don't know. Again, depends on the, the yeah. topic. Depends on the day. Yeah. When True. you have stories like your, you know. <laughs> vagina video game controller (laughs) to share (laughs) gives a new meaning to the word joystick oh (laughs) i'm trying to think of a (laughs) gives a new meaning to the term button mashing (laughs) get out of here it's a true (laughs) xbox Duh. Or a Nintendo Snatch? Oh my um, god! <laughs> sorry. Nintendo Snatch. <laughs> Honestly, at least it was a rabbit and not a cat. True. Yeah. <laughs> I would have really enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man! God. Incredible. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um, on that note, Sega Genepis, I don't know. Wow. I'm going to stop. Sega Gynesis. Gynesis. Sega Gynesis. That's That's better. There we go. That's better. Better. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I will miss this. Game girl. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Yeah. Anyway, what a fun walk down memory lane. I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that, too. Um, The next three episodes will not be uh, commentaries. This is just a a fun idea for (laughs) one of our final four eps to take it back to the beginning and uh, see how far we've come. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, So we will be back soon with our next of these four eps. Should we say what uh, we're doing? I think we should say for the next one, yeah? Yeah, for the for just the next one. Yeah. So we yeah. will do video for all of these final four yes. episodes. So tune back into this YouTube channel that we've created uh, for this video. We'll post links on social media, obviously. Uh, and we'll also obviously release the audio only version as well. Um, yes. Our next episode, episode 278, is going to be Shannon's Choice of Topic. And Scott's choice of genre. Yeah. We're going to choose what uh, we want to do. Yeah. We never get to pick what we really want. So we're going to, we're going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Us now. It never (laughs) has been before. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's been only about Scott based on the first. Based on that episode. (laughs) Jeez. Scott holding his hostage (laughs) playing. Under your bed. Keyboard sounds. Yeah. Like, yeah, hey, listen to this. Doesn't this sound like disco? And you're like, please let me eat. <laughs> let me eat something. Let me call my family. <laughs> they need to know I'm alive. Do you have today's newspaper? <laughs> oh, man. Hi, hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh It'll be something God. like this. <laughs> 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 Forever. Hey, Shannon, Shannon, do you have lyrics? Yeah, I wrote the, the name of the article down <laughs> a few times. <laughs> Is that good? Is that anything? <laughs> no editing. Absolutely no editing. First idea, best idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Just ran. Just oh. ran with it. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Uh, let us know on Twitter at SongSellyCast or at or in our Facebook group, Song Salad Podcast dash the produce section. If you liked this, do yeah. you like seeing our faces? Did you <laughs> look like 
Uh, did you know what we looked like aside from our little cartoons on the podcast art? Yeah. Um, uh, this is what this is what we look like. This is where we live. Uh, yeah. Woo. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, let us know if this episode was fun because I I loved this. This was actually I had a lot really of fun. great. This yeah, was great. This was yeah. cool. <laughs> and awesome. until next time, I'm Shannon and I'm Scott, and this has been Song Salad. Yamas. Oh, that relaxes your pelvic floor, let me tell you. Mm. You should try out a Yamas when you're hooked up to the bunny and see what it does. It's just going to take a nap. <laughs> bunny just drops out of the computer screen. <laughs> it's just gone. And a little Greek man appears and goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. Another turning point of fork stuck in the salad.